What's up, boys? Take number 455,336 of the world's longest game. I'm trying to make a game go past an hour long. One game, not one video. Oh, it's going to be extremely difficult against a soul, dude. She's going to be so good at poking towers. Oh, crap. Oh crap. Oh, he's not emo though. He's not emo. That's good. <laughs> okay, so I want to get um a lot of damage early game with the Book of Thoughts start. Um Honestly, I'm just going to go med. My whole plan is just to not really care about killing him. If I die, you know, whatever. If I die clearing the wave, that's fine because I need to clear the wave. My whole thing, this entire game, is just clear the eyes of the king rest in even the and make the game go longer. That's all I want to do. Now, I know what... I, I've, I've read the comments, right? I read all my comments every day on every video, sometimes to my detriment. But I know you guys do not want... I know you guys do not want this video, right? I'm not dumb. Nobody said, hey... Make the world's longest game video. But you know what? I want it. And it's my channel. It's my tube channel. Why do you go vamp shroud? Yeah, that has physical protection. I don't know why you went vamp shroud. Dude, you can hit me all you want, baby boy. I do not care. Hit me all you want, baby boy. I am all about getting that XP. Hello. Thank you. Uh, I'll use my med for my mana. Why not? Alright. That should clear. Let's go to speed buff. He's following me. I don't want to die. You can have your speed buff. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill me? Okay. Why? Like what like what did you What about what you just did? What about what you just did is is bringing you forward in this game? I was giving you your speed buff. You didn't have to alt me to get it. You didn't have to. But that's okay. You know, if he wants the speed buff that bad, let him have it. Let him have it. I don't mind. I got my book of thought now, so I'm starting those stacky boys. Getting some more uh, Damahe. And then... Mm, then what? Actually. Do I want more damage? Do I want a Kronos Pendant, maybe? Some cooldown going? All right, that clears wave. I'm chilling. Hold on, my arm is a little itchy. Nice. Well, okay, okay, but why? Tell me why. Tell me why, huh? What's the point in this? What's your game plan, Chief? You're stuck between me and my minions. You're gonna ult me? Fine. Ow. Okay. I mean, if that's all that was happening. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
I didn't expect him to come over from there because I couldn't see him with his little that that sphere is so small, dude. I think I am gonna go Chronos Pendant, by the way. That death means absolutely nothing. Also, just so we're all clear. Not because like, oh, I died and he's not good at, or, uh, at the game or anything. Because, I mean, that was a good play, right? I'm not going to take that away from him. But like, just for the purposes of this video, my goal is not to live. My goal is not to win. My goal is not to, to kill the enemy. My goal is to make this game last as long as fucking possible. <laughs> that's all I want. That's, that's literally the only thing I want. I'll lose a thousand MMR doing this video. It's just what I want, man. I'm surprised you're not doing your blue buff. But I will, if you're not. And then I'll just, uh... Give it the bop my way over here. This red buff. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'll clear the wave and go to my speed. I'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> Yo, it's mad annoying. Holy crap. All right. Cool. How much is Chrono spending? 2150. That's kind of on the louder side, you know what I mean? You want my blue buff? Not up. Your speed up? It is. I'll take it. I don't know why he would go to my 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 blue buff when his speed buff is up. I have all six buffs right now, by the way. Let's grab this. I actually would like a divine, believe it or not. A true piece of armor fit I think a divine is going to be really important because if I don't get divine, then I can't poke him out and he'll just be able to sit at my tower line and heal up um, using Bancrofts and Bamp Trout and everything and just eventually be able to poke my tower down enough. Okay, big damage. I used med and then Aegis, so that was horrible. There's a lot of damage. Alright, that'll clear. Don't worry about it. Going over there. There's nothing up over there. I do want this cooldown. Thank you. I will go grab my uh, my tier 2 Chronos Pendant. And I also, I really want to get Gem of Iso and then I want to get Double Defense. But maybe instead I'll go Gem of Iso and then I'll go Pestilence for a little bit more anti-heal. So he can't just sit on my tower line and poke me. And then I'll go um, alternate timeline. So if he does kill me, if I do have to sacrifice myself to stand in front of my tower, then I can. just wants to hit me every time I, I do this challenge they get so annoyed in the first five minutes that all they want to do is fight me every single time I've attempted this challenge well that should have hit you I clear the wave. I don't care. My red buff. Hope that you're aware. Okay. Well, for the red. 
Really appreciate it. Ow. Am I fast enough to not die here? Nice. I am. You want that red buff now, huh? Okay. I'm comfortable with my one my one red buff that you don't have. Go get the Chronos pendant because I need the cooldown immediately. A true piece of armor <clears throat> for the task king. And then we go Pestilence. And then we go... No. Yeah, let's go. Let's go defense next. Let's go defense next. We have 448 power still. That's kind of impressive. Well, actually, no, it's not because I'm all damage. I just realized I'm literally 100% damage right now. Yo, he has a kill on me, but I'm up 700 gold. <laughs> what the heck? got the speed buff we got both of his relics i am able to pick the speed buff up now hello no clear wave that's all i care about i do want to see if his blue is up I guess not, because he doesn't seem to care. He doesn't seem to care if I rotate over there, so... Killing him is nice and all. I'm not going to push his objectives. Because like I said, I don't really care about winning. Um, but killing him does give me about 30 seconds where I don't need to focus on my objectives being completely demolished. Which is nice. That's nice. Go get blue buff. How much is uh, Gem of Iso? Because I might actually get it first. 27. No, it's, it's much smarter for me right now to just back. Finish Pestilence. And chill out, you know what I mean? Much smarter for me to just do this. Alright, we're 1,400 gold ahead of him. We're doing really good on the farming aspect. Probably waiting at that red buff because... Wants it. Never mind. Oh. See, this is this is ideal. If I get him scared of me to the point where he doesn't want to sit at my tower line, that's ideal. Did this really not spawn the whole time? Okay. Okay. Dude, just go away. Leave me alone. My whole goal is to just get him to like be too scared to fight me. If he's standing under his tower and I'm standing under my tower and my goal is not to win but to survive. That's amazing. That's amazing for me because then not only... Not only is he not going to be pushing because he's too scared to push of 
because of fear of death. But also, but also, he's too scared to push because he might lose his own objectives because I'm already pressuring him. And if he pushes up and I kill him, and he might think, I know obviously I'm not going to win the game, but he might think that I want to win the game. Nice. I'm surprised I actually got that. I don't know why he autoed it once. That was very kind of him. All right, that'll clear the wave. I'll see you at your speed buff, buddy. Oh, I was waiting for... I was waiting to see how long it would take the soul to do this. I was waiting. No soul player can resist the back door. It's proven. one not hit that's quite disappointing all right well now we know now we know he's already at that point where he wants to backdoor i have defended long enough and now he's going to start punching my towers regardless of if it makes him die or lose um objectives i might fake it I might fake it and take his tower after I get a kill one time. Just to make him think that I'm like really trying to win, you know? Would you have a A mighty shield to protect my people. Alright, next up is um Next up is alternate timeline. That's gonna put us to 30% cooldown. And then blue buff will take us to max cooldown or or we don't want blue buff uh we could always go red buff or speed buff and just go 500 pot for the max cooldown that will also work can i come through here it still hits you this red buff and it does a little bit of damage he did immune most of it big damage big damage keep him at bay dude that's all we're doing keeping him at bay All we're doing. Perfect. I would take the tower, make it seem like, oh, look at me. I'm winning the game. You should be scared. You know, in his head, he's like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm so, I have the way better late game. You know what I mean? Like in his head, he's hyping himself up. I took the tower, you know, like you, you should be scared. It might be okay if I take Phoenix actually. But then I'm not able to kill him, because if I kill him again, then my then my minions will will win the game. So I can't I don't think I can take Phoenix. It's a little too risque for me. Go alternate timeline here. A true piece of armor fit only for the Phoenix. Alright, so we have max cooldown. Um, once I get a 500 pot, which we'll, we'll, after I get the 500 pot the first time, we'll be able to keep it on forever. So we'll have max cooldown of 700 power, 173 defense, and a res every six minutes. Okay. 
Looking pretty promising. I am going to stay a bit aggro. I'm going to stay a bit aggro because, like I said, I do want to kind of fake him out like I'm trying to win the game really hard. Okay. That didn't hit him. He's honestly kind of annoying. I have Gem of Iso on them, so they should die. They stayed in there long enough, I think. They didn't. You don't scare me, bud. Now right here, I want to be like, oh, look at me. I'm taking your Phoenix. But I want him to be like, okay, good, successful defend, you know? Like, hype himself up a little bit. Good defense, good defense. You focused the wave and I couldn't I couldn't get in there. Oh, by the way, I could have definitely taken the Phoenix there if I wanted to. Um, bro, we're, we just hit the 20-minute mark. I think for this video to be successful, in my eyes, for this video to be successful in my eyes, uh, 45 minutes. We'll do we'll do 40 minutes. A 40 minute duel is excessive, right? Like that's that's the goal. I want you to think, wow, I just played an excessive match of duel. You know what I mean? So 40 minutes, 40 minutes is my go-to right now. That's my prime. An hour is my perfect match. You know what I mean? I don't care about blue buff because I already have max cooldown now. Fuck your little, your little wing blade. No? Okay. Just want to hit it, man. Just want to hit it off. I don't know why. Like, there's no reason I want to hit it off, but I do. That red buff. The more damage, the better. What's up, dog? You all right? Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Homie. Homie, you good. Are you good? He really wants to fight me. Oh god, I proxed his windblade. Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't. See ya. Cancel that. All right, you clear wave. I'm vibing, dude. I'm vibing. This is where I live right here. This is where I live on the defensive. That's where I want to be. You're just putting me back in my home, baby. That's taken. Well, this isn't taken. Nice. Nah, I didn't hit him. I did get the minions. Not all of them. All right, dude. Keep it up. And you really do auto super fast, huh?
All right, there's his wind wing blade. Okay. We both suck. We both suck. We're both awful. Okay. Now I'll be like, oh, you don't back. I'll take your Phoenix. Okay, I want him to be scared of me, you know? Perfect. We scared him enough to where he didn't take my tower. These fights are actually like... Obviously, I'm not trying to like win the game. But even while not trying to win the game, these fights are pretty fun. They're pretty fun fights. Nice. Uh, I can't do this. I'll lose tower. I might lose tower anyways, dude. Your tower is under I lose tower anyways. Damn. That was a bad play. Alright. I still have the important tower up, you know? Yo, we're not. Alright, wing blade down again. I'll be honest, it's kind of annoying that his three makes him slow immune. Nice. Huge kill. Huge kill. Now here's, here's where the issue comes in. Do I want to take his Phoenix? To make him think that I can win the game? Or do I not want to? If I take his Phoenix, he might surrender. Alright. I wanted him... Basically what I did there... I took Phoenix, but I wanted him to see that I wasn't going to be aggressive. Like, I, wa I took Phoenix, but I wanted him to see that I was running away. You know what I mean? And also, with Fire Minions... He should be less aggressive because he has to deal with those. Which helps me. I have a thousand power, by the way. He should be less aggressive because he has to deal with fire minions now. I don't want to kill him. Just so we're clear. But if we're fighting and he's not backing up, like I I have to I have to fight him. So he doesn't think that he can just go and backdoor my phoenix or something, you know what I mean? I have to make sure that I'm seen as an aggressive creature. 30 minutes is an acceptable duel. Not great, but acceptable. I saw him take this, I just want the cooldown for it. I'm not above beating you in, into a pulp. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Um. Okay. Now we back up. I could chase. Which I will chase. I'll make him think like. You really got to run away in order to live. I'll do that. My goal is not to kill. If I kill him, I win the game. And that's not that's not the goal. I mean, I at the 40 minute mark, if we get the 40 minutes, 
I will go and, and try to win the game, I guess. But I don't mind losing. It's all about the content. Y'all gotta understand, it's all about the content. Alright, that'll clear the wave. I'm vibing. Like this, like him thinking he can do this, that's what I'm I'm stopping. I want him to not think he can just walk up to me and fight me. Because I will kill him. Okay, there's his ult. That's really good. This is like the perfect scenario, right? Right here. Wasting this much time, him thinking he can win the fight. When obviously he can't, by the way. The only reason I ult that is to give him hope that he can maybe take Phoenix here. Maybe he can backdoor. That's the only reason I ult that. He thinks he successfully defended his Phoenix right there, by the way. He's like, nice. My Phoenix is back up. I'm good to go. That's not at all what happened, but that's what he did. All right, back to my 1000 power life. Pop this. And now is when it gets a little dicey because if I kill him, I get the Phoenix, yes, which is obviously good. Oh, that's not good. Please tell me you live. Nice. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get the Phoenix without killing him. That's literally perfect. Because if I killed him and I got the Phoenix, then he'd probably surrender because his death timer is so long and his Phoenix is literally one shot that he's guaranteed to lose the game there. But if I can get him to back like I did, if I just get him to back and then take the Phoenix while he's alive, well, then there's still hope, isn't there? You see why this has taken such a long time to do? Because you have to keep hope alive for the enemy. But you have to not be like a pushover. You know what I mean? Like you have to find a balance. That's why it's so... That's why it's taken me so long to get this recording. Which, by the way, I will upload because we're at the 30, 33 minute mark. Which is the longest I've done in one of these games. Um... But because you have to be so like almost mentally abusive, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like actually almost mentally abusive. All right, I hit him there. I do not want to kill him. I need him to run though. I need him to run away. Don't go that way, dude. You're easy to kill if you go that way. I need stop being aggressive. You're going to lose the game to minions. I ult hit him for a thousand damage, by the way. Just so we're all we're all on the same page. Alright. Um I'm in a good spot here. I'm in a good spot. I guess he healed some.
Alright. Okay, I can get my uh my five hundred pot and my three K pot again. A toast to our success on the field today. But I really want this game to go an hour long. If this is the halfway point of this video, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> By the way, I understand. I understand before I even upload this video, I know there's gonna be so many people who dislike and hate comment on it because in order to get a video like this, you basically have to play psychological warfare and people hate that shit. Um, but like, I've wanted to get a video like this since season three. And I can actually do it now because of the fact that this map is so, like, linear. You know what I mean? I'm not popping my pots because I don't want to do damage. I just want to be aggressive here. I would like to re-get the Phoenix, honestly. all right the more i keep his phoenix down the more um i guess the more neutered he is you know the less he can play the game I'm going to give him that red buff because I don't really care about that one. I already have mine. I just want to make sure he's not backdooring. Okay. He's going for the red buff. Going for the red buff is fine here. I just don't want him to backdoor. My long-term goal, I suppose my long-term goal with this game is for him to F6 out of anger. That, or not even anger, but like despair. <laughs> like, just think, oh my god, I can't believe I've been in a dual match for 37 minutes. F6. I also am curious if he's going to shit talk me at the end of this game. I find it highly likely he will. Nice. I got his wing blade. Which is why I said nice, by the way. Because this now should be scary to him. I can kill him right here way too easy. I need to be careful not to. I need to be careful not to kill him. Because if I kill him, he'll F6. Send back your your region. Your region back there by your Titan. Is that 3k pot again? I'll hold on to this one now unless I'm in the middle of a fight and I and I might need it. So I could sync up 3k pots. Like when he was chasing me, when he when he was right here, and I was like right here in my Phoenix, I, I could have just ulted, like turned and ulted, and he would have died 100% because he was hugging this wall. He was hugging this wall while fighting me, and I just throw the, the ult like right here, and he is hit by it every time. So that's what I was saying when I was like, I got to be careful not to kill him here. I was really nervous that my ult was going to kill him when it hit him, when he was standing there. Um, I'm actually really glad it didn't. <laughs> I think if that hit him 
and he died, he probably would have surrendered. down and i got him um with that three so he can't progress i'll use my uh my 3k defense pot can't run through that because obviously i have gem very nice Again, he has, quote, successfully defended his Phoenix. Um, and now I should be good to get this red buff and take the Phoenix again. I don't really care which way you go because I'm getting the Phoenix either way. I will just backdoor it here. I have so much power. The goal, like I said, well, like I've been saying, make sure he's demoralized. Perfect. No buffs for you. No buffs for you, bad boy. With speed, with nice. There's his wing blade. I guess I might be able to start looking at like when I can win the game now. We're at the 40 minute mark. I really want this to go an hour long though. Like I really, really would love it if it went an hour long. I just zoned him with my three there. I have no 3k damage elixir, so I gotta go buy that again. Even a king must treat his injuries. And this is such a good video. <laughs> I'm so happy with this video. Perfect. You gotta run, dude. I don't want to kill you. Okay. I hit him with the one. He's scared. I think this won't kill him. Pretty sure my one won't kill him, so I'm okay to hit him with uh, another one. Make it seem like I'm really chasing, really trying. Oh, that won't kill, will it? Oh, nice. Nice. We have pushed him off of our Phoenix line once again. Grab another one of these. It's almost running out. Why not? Now I got another... I don't know, maybe two minutes to kind of relax. Go for the red buffs and... Maybe have a fight over there. I do have Aegis. He doesn't have Aegis. He sold his Soul Reaver for Hastened Ring. Ooh, switching up the build. Switching up the build 35 minutes in. Or 45 minutes in. That's ballsy. 
very nice. We got the uh, Blade proc. I want the red buff when I push the Phoenix because I want to make sure that I can get it in like two autos. Awesome. Back to a thousand power. This is where I live. Okay. Nice, I got his wing blade there. Huge. Not gonna ult, I don't wanna kill him. Do not wanna kill him. So he backed up over there. Because I think he thinks. Okay, I'll lose the Phoenix, but I'll live and I won't lose the game. Awesome. Now, that would have been a very, very easy time to win the game. Very easy. Because I was like... I held my ult because I didn't even want to kill him. So I just auto-attacked him. Very nice. Very nice. All right, that'll clear. There's his wing blade. So we got his wing blade. We got his ring or his hastened ring. You should not be aggressive here. I do not want to kill you. I'm going to miss on purpose there. I'm going to alt here. Make him think that maybe I'm trying to snipe him. And then I'm going to push this wave to make him think that I'm pushing. And then I'm just gonna go get my buff. <laughs> 45 or 47 minutes, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Even a king must treat I'm gonna rebuy the damage one instead of the defense one. I think keeping up with my damage is much more important than keeping up with my defense. I have relics that do defense really well, you know? I'm 7k ahead of him. Ooh. He sold, um... Demonic. He sold his Demonic for a rod. Do some more damage. Okay. So he wants to hurt me now, huh? I really need to get that wing blade off. Like that's that's the main issue. If I can't get the wing blade off, then I will lose the fight. Don't die. I won't kill. I need him to run, dude. Here we go. There we go. We got him to run. Now we can get the red buff.
Again, just keep him running. That's my Phoenix. You need to understand that is my Phoenix. Please don't make me kill you, dude. Please don't make me kill you. I think he understands that I can end his life. So he's going to back. He plays it way too close. Like if he just didn't try to fight so hard all the time. And I could just farm. This game would be easy. But it's not because all he wants to do is fight. A man just wants to throw fists all the time. I could actually die here. I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm, I'm, I would have had to kill him. Like, if I didn't kill him, I would have actually lost the game right there. So, had to kill him in defense. I thought I had my met up and I did not. So, that's what happened. But, because he was all the way pushed up and I had to back, he probably thinks that he doesn't lose the game there. Awesome. He didn't surrender, dude. Let's go. 51 minutes? It's a 51 minute game. I just realized. Let's go, dude. An hour doesn't look so out of reach now, does it? <laughs> I should have been streaming an hour ago, by the way. <laughs> so... Now, to my Twitch viewers, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'll definitely be late today because of the, the attempts on this video, but... You know? I'm happy with it. I don't even care. Oh, alt of the wave. That's weird. Why would he alt the wave there? Oh, actually, I had alternate timeline, so I maybe could have lived. Without killing him. I forgot about the fact that I had alternate timeline. Nice. Please don't get hit by that. Nice. Like basically my goal is to make him think I'm trying to kill him without actually killing him. You know? That's my goal. I could start, like, camping here, maybe, and doing some damage to Titan or whatever. Oh, that did hit him. Nice. There's his wing blade. I'll do some damage. I'm not going to use my three because I would do too much damage. So I'll just spam my one here. Again, make him think I'm really trying to win. Now I'm just going to back. I'm going to ult his wave and back. Actually, no. I'll just three it. Why back now? Because this phoenix is coming up. If I back when his phoenix is coming up, it gives him more hope. You know what I mean? I actually want that. I have meditation, so I don't need to worry about my mana. Oh, that's not good. I need to hit that one if I want to. I'd be aggressive here. There we go. We got his Aegis. Make him think he's got a bag. This won't kill. Just poke him out. 
Place that over there. And there we go. Another Phoenix down. I wonder how many Phoenixes I've taken this game. I have no 3k uh, elixir right now. I got a back for that. All right, more damage, more damage. Back up to a thousand. I wonder what the longest dual match ever played was. I think uh, someone has a video of like a 90 minute dual match. Your sneaky dude. damage here make him think he's on the uh, he's on death's door you're not by the way i'm not gonna win the game uh with a titan kill get that wing blade off again oh no you're coming this way you don't want to actually fight me do you Oh no, 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 clear the wave, clear the wave, clear the wave, clear the wave, please! Please! Oh, okay, Jesus. I was really scared that I was gonna win the game. I did not mean to hit the Titan with that three. You have one HP. Tell me you run. Nice. No! You died the minions! He died the minions! No! It would have been an hour long game. Why'd you kill yourself to minions? No, dude. Dang it. Dang it. I wonder if he's going to shit talk me or not at the end. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. GG, man. Camp. Camp nowhere. Just GG. Just GG. All right. Well, there you have it. I'm amazed. I'm amazed that game went... How long was that game? 57 minutes and 7 seconds. And he died to a minion? He has lifesteal, dude. He, you have Bancrofts. How do you die to minions? <laughs> or did he sell his Bancrofts? Oh, he sold his Bancrofts and got Ring of Hecate. So he did have lifesteal. Dang it, man. Almost, almost. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, um, I don't know what to say. I can't believe we almost made it to an hour and he killed himself, dude. Oh man, dang it. Um, I got my tattoo Friday, by the way. I, I mentioned that in my other video, but I might as well mention it here. Um Let me see if there's anything else I want to mention. Oh, follow me on twitch.tv slash Sam the Dude. I actually stream a lot over there. And um I would really love it if you guys could come over and, and support me over there too. That'd be sick. Thank you guys in advance. And I think that's it. I think. Um Again, as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.